don't got to go to them. They'll come to you. Or they'll give you signs. They'll give you signs for you to talk to them. You know, when you grow up, you, you'll see those signs, you know. You be able to read read a person's body body language. She digs you because of her body language. You might not say anything. She might not. She might say, you might ask a chick a chick out, and she might say no. But she's a but she's attracted to you. And she might say, if he keeps asking, I'll go out with him. I'm a you know. And some guys move on, and you, you, you know you know you know you brothers you brothers that been around you know. You don't gotta go after women. Women, women come after you, or they'll call. They'll summon you through their body language. Real talk. So anyway, let's go to let's hit these, let's hit these precepts, and on to the next one. Isaiah, first scripture that came to mind was Isaiah four. Now, Bishop Bishop Nathan, you said that's talking about in the kingdom. No, it's gonna happen before the kingdom. Because in the kingdom, when we get our woman, none of our Israelite women gonna be working. None of our concubines gonna be working. The only time the concubines be working is in the bed. Uh, but you're gonna have women servants that are under your wives. So in the kingdom, not one Israelite woman, they're gonna be blessed. They're gonna be working. So this is talking about this is talking about on this side. In that day, seven women, which were coming to that day, shall take hold of one, one man saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel, meaning we'll take care, you don't got to take care of us. Why? Because they're desperate and because of all hell, all hell is breaking loose. And we're slowly coming to uh, uh, Second Ezra chapter 15 and 16. We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Now, reproach is to have a man. You have a man, then you have a, a you're pregnant by that man, your reproach is taken away. That's what Elizabeth said when she conceived uh, John by um, the priest Zacchaeus. Sakai, uh, she said, Thou hast taken away my reproach. And there's many, there's other scriptures on that where a woman's reproach was taken away because she got a man. See, a woman is placed upon the earth to be for a man. That's your job. That's your, that goes back to the very beginning, Genesis. And he will rule, rule over thee, Genesis 3.16. So what man wants a woman that he got to fight with or she's trying to rule over him? Ain't nobody want that. It's like I said, it goes back to your your nasty attitude. Ain't nobody want. Ain't nobody want no. Hey, brother, no, no. Well, as far as I know, you know, if you got one, you got, you got to deal with it, brother. May the force be with you. But GMS, we ain't in. We ain't into the so-called black woman because of their nasty attitudes. You know, a lot of these brothers, you know, uh, Southern Kingdom brothers. They 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 were into like the lat, the lat, Latin woman. Some of them even got you know Edomite looking women, Irish women, Italian women, which are Jake, number Jake, po certain Polish. You got Israel scattered all out all throughout the planet Earth. Literally, it says, "In that day shall the the branch of the of the Lord be beautiful and glorious." Now, the, the beauty is going to be for the men because Edomite women. I did a video some months back, and I, I went to Google and I said, how many white women are attracted to black men, or something to that effect, and they, and they said it was, nine, it was uh, I believe it was 90, it was like 87, 88%, which is rounded off to 90. That means 10 white women, nine of them got, got a thing for Jake men. Were they dealing with the Jake men or, or fantasizing about the Jake men? And the one, and the one percent, and the one that doesn't, she don't, she, she don't want to admit it. She don't want to admit it. So the the power of the Israelite man is coming back. The Most High is putting that Superman power back on us. Ultimately, we are going to be changed. 
uh, 1 Corinthians 15, uh, verse 50 on down. And Esau knows that. Esau knows that, man. You know, we just out, you know, when it comes to sports, we just outdo. Now, people, now, they'll say, well, Blake, Jake can't make it in the in the uh, financial world. Well, the fi when you're in the financial world, you go to college for X amount of years to learn that. If you take Jake and give him a, a, a running start, a, a start, start him, take a Jake, a Jake man and an Edomite baby, Jake baby, Edomite be baby, train him the same way. The Jake man is going to outdo him in finance, smarts, everything else. Okay. Jake excels in sports because that's a sports. You know, you come from the hood. The hood, you got to be athletic. You out running pit bulls, dudes down the street. You fighting all the time. You know, it, it, it toughens you up, you know? Like our black women, they'll fight men because they're from the streets. So like in the NBA, the majority of, of Jake, they come from the hood. Cheapest sport out there is basketball. There's always a basketball court, you know? Uh, boxing, that come from the hood. MMA come from the, for the most part, from the hood. You know, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu come from the hood. You, it's rare that you see a Jake's in the tennis because that's not a hood sport. Golf is not a hood sport. Basketball is a hood sport. Baseball is a hood sport. Dominicans, they, 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 all do, Dominicans do. Men, they play baseball, 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 baseball. Father push them. That's why they're great baseball players. Because that's all they do, Jake, basketball. Anyway, it says, In that day shall the branch of our Lord be beautiful. And the So that's the building. See, the kingdom is here, but it's not fully manifested. The kingdom is us. The kingdom is within you, okay? And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and calmly beautiful for them that are escaped of Israel. Because the Israelites escaping. And who's going to escape of Israel? The elect. who are going to be delivered. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy, uh, even everyone that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem is a people before its place. Zion is a people before... Zion is a remembrance. It means remembrance, monument. Israel, Israel, Israel. Even everyone, the elect, that is, that is written among the living in Israel. The, live, the, the ones that are the living in Israel are, are the elect to Israel, not just any Israelite. Galatians, uh, what is that? Galatians 6 says uh, the, um, the Israel of the Most High, which are, which are the elect. When Yahweh shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. Now that represents the women and the men. And, that, and, and immediately, Isaiah 4, 4 and 4, what immediately comes to mind is a uh, uh, Romans 11 25 and 26 the Most High is going to uh, forgive and cleanse all of Israel so even these wicked Israelites on this side they're going to die on this side the two thirds are going to die but they're coming back in the kingdom so don't listen to Bishop Nathaniel about oh there's a certain amount of Israelites that are going to burn in hell too first of all there's no such thing as hell that's a Roman Catholic doctrine there's a reason why he calls himself a bishop. That's a Roman Catholic term. Which is they got from the Bible. So he's really a Roman Catholic. He's a black Roman Catholic. I had to throw one out, out there at you. Because you're going off, man. And like Michael said, Michael Jackson said, you're doing wrong, you're doing wrong. You're doing wrong. Teaching, let men can have long hair. Oh, and by the way, this, this the woman in the video, the ones that she really rejected was the ones with long long hair. The dreads. You know, she said, I ain't into the dreads. It says, uh, and, and Yahweh 
will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion, which is the kingdom, and upon his assemblies, which are Israel, starting with the elect, a cloud and smoke by day and a shining of a flaming fire by night. That goes back to uh, when we left out of Egypt in Numbers. That was a ship. So we're going to be protected. So the a cloud, a cloud, by, matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. So this kills this thing about Gog and Magog, which Bishop Nate, not understanding Gog and Magog, he says, you got Gog and Magog. No, this Gog, Gog, Magog means from Gog, which means Gog from the land of Gog. It's not two Gogs, it's one Gog. So now let me see, where am I? Where am I? Okay, let me go to, uh, let me come over here. Bear me for a minute. Okay, let me do this. Let's just see where this goes. By the way, for you that don't know, the Passover is tomorrow night, Saturday night, the 23rd. All right, let me, let me come over here to the Bible Hub. See, I said this is going to be a sh short. It's a little bit long. That's how the spirit works. So now let's see what happens here. So it says in Isaiah 4 and 5 that you're going to be a a cloud by day, a smoke by day, and a, a pillar of fire by night. Let's see what the Cambridge got to say. I'm, I guarantee you they're going to make a reference, or they should make a reference to uh, at least the book of Numbers. Yep, there it is right here. Jehovah or Yahweh was manifested as a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. That's a gigantic ship. So they had light. They had light uh, in the wilderness for 40 years. So now you give you a handful of precepts. Uh, Exodus 13, 21. And the Lord went before them uh, by day, a pillar, a pill, uh, by day and a pillar of a cloud and led them the, uh, led them the way I can't hardly see it and by night uh, a pillar of fire which was light to give them light to go by to go by day and night so it's a gigantic ship because the, the wilderness was pitch black dark you can see in fr you can see you can see two feet in front of you so that so that ship had to be as big as the wilderness itself. What is this? Okay, this is Numbers 9 and 15. It says the same thing. Numbers 10 and 34. And the cloud of the Lord was on them by day when they went out of the camp. Uh, numbers 14 and 14 and they will uh, tell it to the inhabitants of this land that they have heard that your your Lord you Lord or Yahweh uh, it's hard to see these letters they're so small and light are uh, among this people that Yahweh are seen face to face and that and that your cloud stands over them and that you go before them by daytime in a pillar of a cloud and of and in a pillar of fire by night <clears throat> a gigantic UFO so Gog 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 from Magog will not be not get us in a thousand years because that that pillar and it's and it's symbolic it's it's literal you know, when we was in the wilderness, it was a literal ship that was like a cloud by day and a and a uh, 
a pillar of fire by night. That sh that ship, how how, I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do the math. But but how many miles from one end of uh, the wilderness to the other? How many miles is that? We're talking um. Could be five hundred miles. I'm not gonna do the math. I'm not gonna do the math. Okay, so it says a uh, cloud, a cloud by day, and smoke with the the shining of a flaming fire by night. Now, do they make a, a reference to? They really don't make a ref reference to. Uh, gather the people, uh, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chambers and the bride out of her closet. And us being in this hell, we're in the closet, we're still in the closet, man. Like them moles, they come out the closet. They think the guy's a mole for years. Then all of a sudden, he says he's he's a he says he's a mole, so he came out the closet. So us coming out the closet is when the whole world's gonna say, "Oh shit, don't they Jakes are Israelites." <clears throat> the gracious presence of Yahweh becomes a visible fact to men's eyes in the cloud. And smoke, which, yeah, because he's so gonna get that smoke. Uh, overshadows and protect the new Yer Jerusalem, which is a people before it's a place. The symbolism is drawn from the story of the Exodus and the uh, tabernacle in the desert. Exodus 13, verse 21. Cloud by day, fire by night. Exodus 40 verse cloud covered them so there you go so let me come back over here see so y'all always go to Isaiah 4 and you read the first two three verses you got to read the whole chapter it's a short chapter so just as the Most High watched over Israel uh, we're talking almost 4,000 years ago. He's going to watch over us again. We're going to be protected. Our kingdom is going to be an everlasting kingdom. Sixth verse. And there shall be a tabernacle for a shadow in the daytime from the heat and for a place of refuge and for a covert from storm and from rain. In other words, that means we're going to be full. Once we get in the kingdom, ain't no enemy going to come up against us. Ain't going to be no Gog and, May, Gog and Magog coming against us. Matter of fact, let me do this. Let me leave it at, let me do this. Let me go to Revelation 20. Start at the 8th verse. Okay, Satan shall be loose out of his prison. That's talking about uh, the, be the beginning of the Renaissance. Christopher Columbus, Tor Kamada, uh, Queen Isabella, King Ferdinand. I believe that they rule, each one ruled the kingdom. The, I believe uh, Aragon and Castile, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody help me out. I'm not going to look for it and shall go out to deceive the nations. That's talking about from the time of Christopher Columbus, when he deceived, came against the Northern Kingdom. And at that time, when he was still, it was it was in the a four, end of the 1400s, going to the 1500s, that's when Jake started being taken in the captivity from West Africa. That happened in the, uh, in the beginning of the 1500s. In the, inside the first 10 years of the 1500s. And the first Jakes went to, uh, 
Hispaniola, which is uh, the island of Hispaniola, named after the Spaniards, because the power source came out of Spain, not out of Rome. Uh, those were Jakes. So a lot of these Simeonites are actually Judites, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as a sand of the sea. That's talking about, this is getting ready to happen in our time. This is not after a thousand years. And when they went up on the breadth of the earth and encamped and then and compassed the camp of the saints. The camp of the saints are, is the land of Israel, but the camp of the saints are also the Israelites. And the beloved city, the beloved city are the Israelites, and fire came down from the Most High out of heaven and devoured them. What fire is that talking about? The missiles. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire, uh, into the lake of of fire and brimstone. What's the lake of fire and brimstone? It's not talking about an eternal hell where you burn forever. It's talking about Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, the whore that sit, sits on many waters, where the beast and the false prophet are, and because Roman Catholicism is in the, within the society. This. The official, origin, uh, the, official, the official religion, tongue twister, the official religion of the U.S. is, they'll say, well, there's no official religion, uh, you know, pursuant to uh, the First Amendment. No, there is an official. They got, a, they got a, a church, a major church in Washington that all the politicians go to. They don't have no mosque. They don't have no temple. So the official religion is Christianity. Start the, the chief of Christian the chief of Christianity is Roman Catholicism. So the false prophet represents their form of Christianity. It says, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now that's talking about what? What does the word torment mean? Bishop Nathaniel said, Oh, that's talking about burning hell. Nope. Torment can mean you're in a, a, a sailboat and you wanted to go north and there's a wind, a, a, a west, end push, west wind pushing you to the east. That's called torment. Look it up. Look the word up. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up for you. If you got a car with a, you ever had a car, your tire blew out and you, and you, you know, you're going slow and you're hoping that the tire, the rubber don't totally go out because it'll mess up your rims. You hope you can find a flat, fixed spot? Well, that's, that's torment. You're dealing with a chick. You don't want to deal with her no more. She constantly calling you. You got to change your number. She knows where you live. She coming in your house, banging on your door. That's torment. I'm going to close after this. <clears throat> this is back to the basics anyway. So seven women shall take hold of one man. It's going to happen on this side. A man shall be more precious than fine gold. Torment. Let's look up the word torment. To be harassed, distress of those who at sea are struggling with a headwind. You want to go north, the west wind comes and pushes you east. So you got to fight the wind to keep stay to stay north, to keep going north. It means toil. Vex. So it does not mean a burn torment does not mean a burning the forever and ever is talking about they're going to be in captivity for a long time then they're going to be destroyed and then the only ones that's going to remain are the Israelites and the other nations and they're going to always be up under us and Esau is going to be no more Job 20 anyway with that I'm going to say Shalom one more to the next